The doctor's absence, though irritating, is only temporary. But total confusion surrounded the launch of Merlin. A dramatic trailer had the desired effect, leading many viewers to make a date in their diary, except there wasn't a date. Merlin starts Saturday the 8th of October on BBC One and BBC One HD. There is no Saturday the 8th of October until 2016. Yesterday was Saturday the 6th of October. And we thought the fictional stuff was limited to the programme. So it would appear there is somebody at the BBC whose job is to type the correct date over the top of a clip from Merlin, and they didn't manage it. Luckily, the cast and crew have been paying more attention to detail. What happened? I am often infuriated by the haphazard character development, the reset button, the gargantuan plot holes and inconsistency in the storylines and the characters' feelings and motivations. But I still love Merlin, come what may, and continue to hope that those pesky powers that be make good and fulfil all of the stories and the characters' true potential. I think those people definitely were kind of rearing their heads in the beginning and sort of saying this is not um, how it's supposed to be. Um, but then I think having like given them time to watch the series and um, see what we've done with it, I think they actually kind of quite like it now and they've accepted that it's not trying to be historically accurate or, you know, and after all it is just a story, it's a, you know, it's a tale um, about magic and, and all that kind of stuff and sorcery and dragons and, and so in a way I think there is... Um, there is scope to kind of change it up a bit and make it a bit more kind of, you know, like appeal to a modern audience. Good, with promises of a darker theme and more mature look, Guinevere looks amazing. And lots changed. Obviously, I'm queen now, <laughs> which is quite exciting. Um, and, yeah, some really exciting stories. No one's gonna take me I love the slow development of the characters. We have seen Merlin change from a starry-eyed boy to a man ruthless enough to kill the king's uncle face to face. We've seen Arthur change from a brash, arrogant prat to a sensitive king trying to trust his own judgment and follow his heart. I'm glad it's been gradual. It wouldn't have been believable if they'd changed within one series. Arthur still has a long way to go to rid himself of the poisonous influence of Uther and Merlin is still young and developing his powers. I'll have some fond memories of the show when we finish, and that's... I can be proud of them. <laughs> we need to rest. The challenge is to, to not let it go stale. Um, I think as soon as it does that, you've, you've got to stop. 